you're out on the town, you're having fun, and your smartphone is the furthest thing from your mind. Until you get home and check your pockets, and it's not there. It's happened to the best of us, even some relatively high-ranking people at Apple have left their brand new prototype phones in bars. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now, and here's how you can use encryption to make your phone a little bit more secure, just in case it gets lost somewhere along the way. This is my 2013 Nexus 7. I'm using this because it is not rooted. It's just uh, regular stock out of the box with my own settings and customizations on it and whatnot. Apparently root gets in the way and uh, causes some problems. That's why I'm not showing you on my Nexus 5. But what we need to do here is go into settings. From settings, go down to security. And in security, this is where you can set your screen lock. Now, for this to work, it does have to be either pin or password. You can't use pattern face unlock or, of course, swipe to unlock because those aren't security at all. Well, maybe face lock is, but uh, you got to have something a little bit more secure. Now, I've got this set to automatically lock after 15 seconds. So after I, it goes to sleep, it'll turn off. I'm going to bump that up to uh, two minutes. That way, I don't have to type in my pin all the time. It's going to wait two minutes after it goes to sleep. Power button instantly locks I have turned off as well. So two minutes after I either hit the power button or after it goes to sleep, it's going to lock and I'll have to put the pin in again. So down here, this is what we're looking at. Encrypt tablet. Require a numeric pin or password to decrypt your tablet each time you power it on. So we'll go in there. Now this tells us all we need to know. You can't decrypt your tablet except by performing a factory data reset. So if this is something you want to try, you want to make sure that you want to do this because you cannot go back without wiping. So keep that in mind. It does take a long time, sometimes an hour or more, and you have to start with a charged battery. I'm pretty close up here, but we also have to be plugged in. So uh, come over here and I'll get my USB cord, which I have plugged into a power outlet. Go ahead and plug that in. This should then light up and allow me to encrypt tablet. It asks me for my pin, which I'll do over here. Once that is done, we get another warning, and then we'll go ahead and encrypt tablet. We get that nice little Android with a tool belt, and then the screen goes blank. It's doing its first of several reboots here. Right after that long boot sequence came up, I now have this encrypting screen that says wait while your tablet is being encrypted, and it does give me a very handy percentage indicator. In this case, I am 4% complete, and I've got my neat little Andy the Android with a tool belt on down here again, or is that cogs i don't know what it is exactly but uh, cool little thing that i haven't seen before in all of my travels with android we'll go ahead and let it do its thing and we'll be back to show you the progress so after about 45 minutes has passed the system rebooted and now i'm met with this my little uh pretty sure that's a, a cog rather than a tool belt uh it's asking me now to type my password so i'll go ahead and do that i have a nice tappy sound while i type that in We'll hit done. At that point we see the cog again. The screen goes blank and we're coming back up to yet another reboot. So what you can see here, when we power on the device, we're asked for our password to decrypt the storage. Now this password and the pin are kind of separate things. One lets you into the device and one lets you into the storage so that you can have access to it. Let's go ahead and type in our password here. After we do that, the device will restart. That's where the decryption happens, not at the pin pad. So this is a power on encrypt decrypt. That's primarily for time. It saves you time by not having to do this encrypt decrypt sequence every time you turn the screen on and off, just when you turn the device on and off. Still a very, very good thing to do. Team that up with a nice secure pin or some other type of security to, uh, to keep your data on your device all taken care of so that people who shouldn't have access to it don't. So that's how you encrypt your phone so that it's extra secure just in case it gets lost along the way if you want to keep the contents away from prying eyes. If you liked what you saw here, please give the video a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, make sure you do that so you don't miss out on all of the news, all the reviews, and everything that is coming out literally every single day from Pocket Now. 
If you want to find out more about us, of course, you can go to pocketnow.com or follow us on social networking. My favorite is Twitter, where we are at PocketNow, and I am at Joe Levi. Thanks very much for watching, and we will catch you next time.